Hello, back again. We're gonna sail past our old boat. Or shove it out of the way. Oh, it's got um, the, the Elven Queen on the front. Which is weird, because we got it from humans. This is meant to be the Elven boat, so I don't know. Now, the cool thing about this boat is it's got a, uh, like, rammer head thing on it. So we can ram stuff, which is pretty fun. It's also a hell of a lot faster. Which is much less frustrating. But yeah, it's weird, because the other boat was meant to be one we acquired from humans, yet it has the Elven Queen on it, so God knows. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a gift. It was a gift that we took it. Because we're just like that. Yeah, we're uh, gonna press through this little area. There's something around here that we can get though. There's a minion totem, which would be very useful where we're heading into. Fish ladies. Anyways. This is a cool one because there's like a siege tower here that you use as a as a dock. Which again makes me question how like was there water here before or not? It's very inconsistent. Because you know, we never see it. I mean, I guess maybe there wasn't, or maybe there was just enough they could get boats from. bloody manner in a second. We'd heard dead elves don't seem to float, but dead humans do. Smashing tops like Link here. Some new cool weapons now, like spears and shit. Honestly, the best tactic with elves is just to get you to fucking set them on fire. Great, you choose all. 
Look, we've lost a lot of reds. Elves do that though, they, they are vulnerable to reds, but they will fucking destroy your reds because their, their agility allows them to get behind your browns. But that's our stun here, more or less. We still have to get the command upgrade totem. But that's the stun with the main quest here, the option to fit to the left. But we're still going to get the command totem. Did it, magnificent one! The gates are opening! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is there something back here? No. Nothing. <laughs> in case we encounter any more bloody mermaids. I hate mermaids. But yeah, we have a few more rammable gates that can be opened. There's a lot of dead empire here. It's like the dwarves in Evernight in the first game. Weighty, this boat. She was very weighty. Hauling it around. But yeah, we're not gonna go to Everlight, uh, Everlight just yet. Guarantee you'll get those two mixed stuff or not. I hope that you can hear the music, um, yeah, as you can tell even though it's been like hours of, uh, you know, hours for me and probably a longer time for you, you know, possibly even days if you're watching these as they come out, still pissed. <laughs> what the hell even is that? Sunken ship. How do we get that command totem? You fellas stay here. Or don't. Can I see where the totem was? I saw it earlier. Uh, no, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> you need a good sense of direction for this area. It's a bit maze-like. It's a lot less linear than most of the areas in the game. It's like something from Overlord 1. That's down there. Yes, there's a barricade round the back of this little island thing, I think. Okay. Is it this way? I think it's this way. See? <laughs> Lost again already. Can I destroy these? No, I can't just said to destroy these in a satisfying manner. Very particularly spiky way from over there. But yeah, the mermaid attacks are a bit of a pain in the arse, but they generally piss off. Eventually. It makes me very uncomfortable when I have to attack something on the boat as well because it makes this awful creaking sound that makes me think it's gonna sink. I don't know if I've ever managed to do that, it actually does sink. 
You choose all. But I don't. I don't know. So I don't want to find out. I have actually died of getting the boat sunk before. You you just fall, like you're falling through the air. You just fall to the bottom of the map and then die upon impact. I think. The death animation is pretty much the same as the last game, so you know you just sink into the ground. I'm not gonna show it off. What the hell is this? Barrier. You no, know, it's around the back there. I'm genuinely like struggling to find it. Yeah, this boat could be a bit painfully slow to manoeuvre. Give you a corgasm, the feeling of moving all that way. I mean, maybe give you a corgasm if you're like a gym. And if not, you're probably thinking, man, this boat looks cumbersome as fuck. Oh, there's the barrier. It's a very hidden one. And smash. The boulders do nothing to us. She's got a good zoom that I think. Let's stop. Why isn't this thing over there? No, why would you go there? Isn't there a... And I of course they can't move this one up too. And you can see the little minions down in the in the galleon, I think it's called. Uh, this boat looks much nicer than the previous one in my opinion. Although I think we should have fixed the ballista from earlier to the front of it. I'm just saying it'd be cool as hell. Co-op mode where you one of you fires the ballista, the other drives the boat. I know which one I prefer. It's weird actually the ballista earlier on in the game because there's no there's no reason that flanking it should work other than they just don't notice you or something. Funny mermaids. I think they just get stunned is what happens when you do that. I don't see them. I see one of those elevators down there. Which is what implies to me that No, you morons. This is why the minions are canonically very stupid. Now you've got a new command upgrade. You can summon more minions to die valiantly in your name. Glorious. And with that, we'll call the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed. See ya in the next one.